Hi, how are you today? <laughs> I'm telling you, I, I never know what kind of lighting I'm going to have in my house. Anyway, today I want to kind of show you something fun. This is a fun video. Um, it could be dangerous if you are seriously bad with scissors the way that I am, but nonetheless, it's fun. This wig that I'm wearing now is Orchid by Aesthetica Designs. Now, I love longer hair, and we all know from past videos that I am definitely a fan of longer hair, okay? I put her on yesterday, and I realized, you know what? For some reason, really long hair isn't kind of working for me as well as it used to be. Maybe it's the fact that I'm going to be 66 and the way that my face is starting to react from um, gravity pulling it down, I need a little bit more lift and I can't afford a facelift but I can afford a wig lift. So what I did was I thought back and I looked at old um, videos on cutting your wig. And I came across an old one by Patty's Pearls on how to cut a wig. And in this video, she said to take sections and kind of like twist them like so, and then take a scissor and cut up, like don't cut bluntly, and you'll have a good result. So I figured, you know what? I really want to wear this wig. Now that I'm embracing gray, um, this is like, the, I'll put the shade of the wig down. It's like chrome, RT2, something like that. But I really, like after I cut it, it took me, honestly, it took me less than 10 minutes. And after I cut this wig, I was like, oh my God, <laughs> I really like this length. And um, you can't cut a wig bluntly because it's just not going to come out looking good. I've done it. Learn through my mistakes. So anyway, I wore this wig yesterday and I wore it to get my um, first COVID vaccine. Yes, yes, yes. I got my first COVID vaccine. I got the Pfizer vaccine and um, I'll be writing a blog post about it. Uh, what I went through the past three months to get this vaccine, I wouldn't wish on anybody, but I got the first one. I'm scheduled for the second one. So I'm really happy, but back to cutting hair. Now um, I'm going to take this off. I did manage to cut my own hair and I didn't do the twisty. I just wanted it to be short enough that I can plop a wig on over it. But the wig that I'm gonna cut today is Reeves by Aesthetica. And Reeves is in one of my favorite shades. Actually, it is my favorite shade, Caramel Kiss. Who am I kidding? So I'm gonna take her and I'm gonna put her on. And yeah, these days I'm just like throwing my wigs on literally over my hair, over my bio hair. So here's Reeves. Now she's long and last summer I wore her a lot, but you know, now I'm thinking, oh, my hair is sticking through, but now I'm thinking, you know what? I need some lift. So I want to cut about this much off. Now I'm going to show you what I'm doing. Okay. Then I'm going to run into the bathroom and finish the rest because this is the dining room table. And if I get like hair over it, I, well, how can I, how can I put this? I know that if I do a whole wig, I'm going to make a mess. And since this is where we eat dinner, and I'm going to cut the bangs a little. 
this is where we eat dinner. The Frenchman will have a fit if he sees wig hair. He'll be like, oh my God, Cassie, what did you do? You, you, please, please, please do not tell me that, that you, uh, that you decided to cut a wig on the dining room table. What? Oh, oh my God, what is the matter? Oh, merde. And then he'll start like saying stuff in French. And then I'll start laughing because I always laugh at him when he gets upset or angry. And then the more I laugh, the more frustrated he gets. So it, it, I, I, I can't cut this whole wig on the dining room table. So here's what I'm going to show you. You take a section like so. Get this one out of the way. And you don't have to be really exact either. That's the good thing. You can be a slob or you can be like one of these people that is just not good at stuff and you can be good. Now I'm going to cut up like that's the thing. You got to cut up like straight, straight up like this. So this is really hard to do on camera. So here we go. I'm cutting straight up and look, you know what? I'm going to do another section. What the hey? So I have another section that I'm cutting. I'm cutting straight up and see, it's just like a little different, but it really makes a wallop of an impact. Hold on, I'm gonna go into the bathroom. I'll be right back. Um, don't go anywhere. Or actually, if you wanna go somewhere, hold on. I need my glasses because, you know, that's how I roll. Okay, pause, pause, pause. Okay, I'm pausing. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I cut leaves. And I have to say, I'm really happy with the way that she turned out. I cleaned the bathroom because I got little flecks of wig in the bathroom. But look, here, let me do, um, let me do a pose. There, isn't it great? I really love this length. And I think for my square face, this looks far more flattering than something that's like super long because I do need the lift. Hold on. I'm going to show you how she looks from side to side and in the back. I'm not a nun and nuns have eyes in the back of their heads. I know this because Sister Mary Arthur would be able to write on the blackboard. And while she was looking at the blackboard, she could tell who was chewing gum and what brand it was, okay? I don't have eyes on in the back of my head, so I did try to trim this the best possible way. I may have to go back. So let me show you how she looks from side to side and the back. Okay, here is my right side. And here is the back. I think I did an okay job. And here is the left side. What do you think? I mean, honestly, I have been looking for a wig that's similar to this like wave pattern that is shorter. And she's different from Avalon. She's different, Reeves is different from Avalon and Ocean. I like the density of this, and I love the fact that I was able to um, cut a shorter bang into this because this is a basic wig cap. This is not a lace front. Now, Orchid, Orchid is a lace front with a mono part, okay? So there are two different wigs but I was actually able to cut them. Hold on, I'm gonna take her off. I, you know what? I just wish that my bio hair, I had more bio hair because it's just 
too little. Okay, so here we go. Here's the wave pattern. And by cutting up, I kept that wave pattern without making it blunt. The same with, the same with orchid. I mean, I'm really, I'm really happy. So my advice to you, hold on, I'm gonna put orchid back on. My advice to you, Hey baby, there we go. Okay, so my advice to you is if you do have a long wig and you're finding out that as you pro age, the length kind of isn't working anymore, either take it upon yourself to take that scissor, twirl your hair and cut up. I'm telling you, if it's a wig with a wave pattern, you're not gonna ruin it at all. Or Take it to a stylist and have the stylist cut the wig. Um, the other thing that I think is really good about this twirl and cut thing is sometimes longer wigs, and especially if you're wearing them with textured fabrics in the winter, sometimes longer wigs, the ends can get dry quickly and they fray and they just don't look that great. So this way of cutting could also be a solution to extend the life of your longer wigs. Um, let me know what you think. And I have to say, I'm really sorry that I don't get to comment all the time, but it's like this freaking job that I have is so ridiculously taxing that when I come home at night, I, I swear lately, I just want to go to bed. So if I'm not like replying to comments, my apologies, but I do try. So that's it. Two aesthetic wigs, Reeves and Orchid. And I cut them to give my sagging old lady face a little bit of left. So that's it. Have a great day. And I will see you probably next week. I may be doing a short review um, in a little while. It depends. I have a lot of cooking to do. I promised the Frenchman I would make a creme caramel later, which is fine. But, you know, St. Patrick's Day is in a couple of days and um, I'm going to make some soda bread. So I will see you later. Oh, 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 wait. I tried my hand at doing like a video from my phone yesterday. So I'm going to link it. I made preserved lemons. And it's, uh, I shouldn't even say I made them. I prepared preserved lemons. So I will put the link to the preserved lemon video um, at the end of this and um, try them. I mean, I used preserved lemons in a lot of Mideastern dishes that I make. Um, they're also great when you slice them very, 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 very thinly and put them into salads. They're great, like preserved lemons are great for any chicken dish that um, calls for lemon. And the thing is, as they preserve, um, the syrup kind of builds up. And like last night, I made hummus and I added some of the preserved lemon syrup from an older jar of preserved lemons that I made. And just made it really, it gave it that extra you know, like that secret ingredient that you have that nobody knows about, like preserved lemon, lemons and anchovy paste are kind of my secret ingredients. So that's it. I will see you later and have a great day. And, you know, like that's it. Get your vaccine. Talk to you later. Bye.